For weeks now, we've been reporting on debt ceiling talks and the ticking clock lawmakers are up against to finish negotiations. But how did we get here? Why is the government in debt? And what is the debt ceiling? Our Elizabeth Schulze breaks it down for us in our latest Cashing In. Try to picture $31 trillion. That's 31 with 12 zeros. You could wrap $1 bills around the earth more than 100,000 times with that amount. That's how much money the U.S. government can borrow before hitting the debt ceiling. Think about it a little bit like when you use a credit card. You're borrowing money to buy stuff like clothes, groceries, or plane tickets. And there's a limit to how much you can spend using that card. The government also borrows money to pay for things. Instead of plane tickets or clothes, it's Social Security, Medicare, public education, or military salaries. The government's limit to how much it can borrow is called the debt ceiling. The reason the government has to borrow money is because it doesn't make enough revenue through taxes to cover its expenses. If you spend more money than you take in, you go into debt. Last year, the government spent $6.3 trillion, but only earned $4.9 trillion. That's a problem. And every year, it adds up. When the government's bills exceed that $31 trillion limit, it risks defaulting on its debt. It's important to remember that the debt ceiling is about the government paying its bills that are already due, not about current or future spending. Think about it a little bit like how your credit card statement covers your expenses from the past month. So who's in charge of setting the debt limit? Congress. Since the end of World War II, Congress has raised the debt ceiling more than 100 times, all so the government can keep paying its bills. In its entire history, the U.S. has never defaulted on its debt. Flashback to 2011, just the threat of a default sent the stock market tumbling, while the country's credit rating was downgraded for the first time ever. That brings us to today. If the government doesn't raise the debt limit once again, the U.S. ultimately wouldn't be able to pay up. Meaning Americans couldn't get their Social Security checks. The cost of borrowing money, like taking out a mortgage, could spike. And businesses could be forced to slash millions of jobs. The day that that could happen is called the X date, and crossing over it could have a big impact all the way to your wallet. Our thanks to Elizabeth for making that crystal clear for us. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.